Hi, I'm Ed Clarkson, one of the senior producers here at Guidance Associates. I've spent most of the past two years developing video programs aimed at preventing drug abuse. You know, drug abuse is everyone's problem, and the statistics are staggering. Americans spend well over $100 billion a year to purchase illegal drugs, almost $40 billion a year on marijuana alone. 20 million Americans smoked pot last month, and 6 million used cocaine. Illegal drug abuse crosses all boundaries of race, sex, age, and money. That's why drug misuse and drug abuse are everybody's problem. To help fight drug abuse in this country, the Media Advertising Partnership gathered together a volunteer group of actors, commercial producers, ad agencies, and unions to develop a series of public service TV spots. They're pretty powerful, as you will see in just a few moments. It's our hope that these anti-drug spots will alert you to the devastating effects of dangerous drugs. After you watch each one, pause a moment to think about the consequences of drug abuse, and then discuss them with your teachers and classmates, and think about how you can make a difference in the effort to keep America drug-free. Here's the first one. Look at this. The marijuana can mess you up. Right. We've been getting high for what? 15 years? Nothing's ever happened. Did I get into all the drugs and start mugging people? Nah. Didn't do anything. In fact, I'd say I'm exactly the same as when I smoked my first joint. Eddie, did you even look for a job today? No, Ma. Marijuana can make nothing happen to you, too. Young people from all walks of life have volunteered to take part in a frightening experiment. Next. For a short time each day, they are allowing their brains to be altered. Altered to the degree that paranoia has been induced. Altered to cause loss of motor functions. Altered to have adverse effects on reproductive organs. Altered to produce heart malfunction and destruction of brain cells to the point of memory loss and acceleration of the aging process. The most frightening part of this experiment is that it is not an experiment. It's what slowly happens to you when you keep smoking pot. No one has to alter your brain. You've already volunteered to do it to yourself. What's wrong with you? Tonsillitis? Appendicitis? Yeah! <laughs> Nobody's died of tonsillitis around here for a while. Appendicitis? Nothing to worry about. Scalpel? What if the joint were in somebody else's hand, like your surgeon, your lawyer, or your local policeman? Would you still say marijuana is harmless? <laughs> no. Let's see if I can still make a straight line. <laughs> Is there anyone out there who still isn't clear about what doing drugs does? Okay, last time. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? what they say about crack and cocaine. This year, over 15,000 people who try it are in for a real rush. Blood vessels around the brain are severely damaged. Hemorrhaging occurred. The nose shows chronic use. There's a large hole in the septum. It was probably a flood of adrenaline. The lungs are filled with fluid. 
and the heart. My brother's friend, Rick, wanted to do something special for him for his birthday. He bought him some crack. Maybe it was bad stuff. Maybe they just couldn't handle it. That was two years ago, today. Sometimes I think Rick was a lucky one. He died. Happy birthday, buddy. While the popularity of cocaine has been on the rise over the last five years, so have some other things. Cocaine-related emergency room treatments, up 300%. Cocaine-related deaths, up 323%. And thousands of lives down the drain. Now, if for some reason you weren't aware of all this, welcome to the glamorous world of drugs. One drug is so addictive, nine out of ten laboratory rats will use it. And use it. And use it. Until dead. It's called cocaine. And it can do the same thing to you. This is a dump, man. You ain't gonna make no money in here. You don't know nothing. I don't know nothing? I know that this is rotten. I know that I don't see no people in here. So where's your gold mine? It's down the street, man. The school. The school? Oh, I see. You're gonna get rich on selling gum to school kids. Not gum, man. This. For $10, the little snot noses can blow their heads off. The little brass are dying to fry their brains. And I'm only too happy to help them. <laughs> so where do they get the money? Who cares where they get it? As long as they get it. All you gotta do is be cool. You just give the stuff to your best buddies. You take it to a party. Tell your friends it's a great high. They should just try it. Tell them you can't hurt them. I can do that. Yeah, it's easy. Those kids are gonna be a pushover. Because they like you. You're a hot shot, right? They'll love you for it. So how much do I charge? Right now, nothing. Nothing? Just give it away. Let them have a free taste. Then you watch. You watch and you see who comes back for more. And then I start charging. You're a smart kid. You have a good day at school, Billy boy.
it's yours? No, I Your mother said she found it in your closet. I don't know. One of the guys must have... Must have what? Look, Dad, it's Where not... did you get it? Dad, Answer I... me. Who taught you how to do this stuff? You, all right? I learned it by watching you. Parents who use drugs have children who use drugs. When she was six, after a few scrapes and tumbles, her dad taught her how to ride a two-wheeler. When she was nine, he helped her build a telescope that could see the moons of Jupiter. When she was 14, after a lot of giggling and giving up, her mom finally taught her how to hit a wicked two-handed backhand. All through her growing up, Susie's parents taught her well. But for all their love and attention, there was one lesson left untaught. Susie's parents never taught her about drugs. They never told her that drugs maim, drugs kill. So Susie learned one final lesson on her own. When you don't say no to your kids about drugs, it's the same as saying yes. Son, I figured when you were old enough, I'd talk to you about drugs. I'd tell you they're nothing but poison. I'd tell you to stay away from the garbage that pushes that junk. Only I never figured that I ought to be telling that to a 13-year-old. If you don't teach your kids to say no to drugs, it's as good as saying yes. If you have teenagers, I'm asking you to have a very difficult talk with them, not about sex. For a lot of us, that would be easy compared to drugs, drugs like cocaine and crack. But you must talk to them about drugs. If you don't talk about it, if you don't fight it, why should they? The idea of your kids using cocaine or crack ought to scare you to death. So please, learn about it and talk about it.